The drawing and the animal are the work of a Greensboro artist. She's been an artist since the time she was born. Artist in Legos, an artist in drawing, and now her medium is fabric, thread, and stuffing. Jenny May is the owner, founder, and artist behind Fluffmonger. So how did this stuffed animal craze get started for you? Um, well, actually, I learned how to sew about three and a half years ago. My sister wanted to learn how to sew for a holiday project. So my mom brought her sewing machine over and taught us both how to sew. And I just kind of fell in love with it. And I actually never gave her her machine back. <laughs> um, but I found a pattern for a, a stuffed animal for an, an elephant. And after I sewed that, I just kind of kept going and I bought some more patterns online and then after a few weeks I felt comfortable and started making my own. Did you love stuffed animals growing up? Did you have a bed full kind of like we were talking about E.T. earlier? <laughs> yeah I had a lot of stuffed animals when I was growing up and I kind of didn't stop collecting them. I was in my 20s and still asking for them for my birthday. <laughs> so I've always loved them. Yeah. So what is your inspiration for the ones you're creating now? Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, my cat is actually the inspiration for a lot of things. He's really silly and he has a sinus problem so he snorts a lot and makes funny noises and um, so I have a bunch of different names for him and the names that I give him are kind of what inspire the different animals so like for example I call him Mr. Falafel Head and that's where uh, Falafel the Llama came from and this is Snort the T-Rex which obviously came from my cat snorting all the time <laughs> and then uh, Fat Bird the Penguin that's also a name that I call my cat. <laughs> So these are not your typical stuffed animals that you would see. No, no, they're definitely, um, they have kind of a different personality. So how did this grow from, I love sewing, I'm going to make stuffed animals into, this is going to be my full-time job? Um, I guess uh, my mother-in-law, she actually has an Etsy shop, and so she kind of encouraged me to put my stuff up on Etsy. and. Um, when I first started making stuffed animals, I started using organic fabrics and hand dyeing them. So I kind of knew I had something different from what a lot of people were selling. So that's kind of how that happened. And how has the response been? Um, it's been great. I've had a lot of support from the community and um, a lot of people that I've met online that like my work. And so it's been really fun. And how does it feel when you uh, when you actually send an animal off or maybe somebody writes back and they love it and even send you pictures? Well, that's the best part is when people um, send me uh, like male pictures of their children holding the stuffed animals and even adults a lot of adults want my stuffed animals so I've gotten pictures of adults holding their stuffed animals and just telling me how much they make them happy so that's exciting. That is fun and not just stuffed animals you're branching out I've seen your cards in yeah. coffee shops. Yeah I have um, greeting cards that I make with recycled paper and I sell those at places like Deep Roots and Cafe Agency and Loco for Coco here in Greensboro and Highland Lamps as well. And you're working on a new project too, can you share that? Yeah, um, I decided after um, thinking about it for a while and having a lot of people ask me about um, like the backdrops that I make for my stuffed animals that I paint and put them in, a lot of people were like, why don't you make a children's book? So uh, right now that's what I'm working on is writing and illustrating a children's book for my stuffed animals. So three and a half years ago, could you have ever imagined that this would be what you were doing full time? <laughs> no, not at all. It just kind of... Um, came together and I'm really excited with how it's going. Well, congratulations and we wish you the best of luck. Well, thank you. Choose the stuffed animal that fits your personality. You just have to go online to find the animals, the cards, and soon Jenny's book. It's fluffmonger.com.